everyone, it's Asil Suede, and in this video, I'm taking you all through the fastest way to get to 10% body fat. So 2017 was the first time I ever got to 10% body fat, and it was actually really easy with these five steps that I'm about to share with you in this video today. Look, there's so many of you all that have the ultimate goal of finally achieving 10% body fat, and man, is it such an accomplishing feeling to get to 10% body fat, because not only do you look really good, but you feel so good as well. However, the problem most people struggle to when they're trying to achieve 10% body fat is that they end up losing a lot of weight and dropping fat. However, they don't look as lean as they expect at 10% body fat and they don't have that muscle mass they're looking to achieve. So in this video, I'm going to share with you all five simple steps to make sure you look your absolute best and have it be the easiest process to get to 10% body fat. Just make sure you smash the like button right now if you wanna see more of these 10% body fat videos so I can help you get there with ease. Okay, coffee's in my system, we can officially get started. So step number one is going to be the holy grail when it comes to getting to 10% body fat, and that is going to be a calorie deficit. Obviously, we all know we have to be in a calorie deficit, which means we're burning more calories than we're consuming on a daily basis to lose body fat. However, I wanna help you guys answer something that you've long for been searching and you cannot find, and that is how to find a calorie deficit for your own body. How do you know, right? That's the number one question I always get. Listen up. This is going to require a one to two week trial period. I know a lot of you guys don't like to hear that, but believe me, after this one to two week trial period where their calorie deficit is done, you are going to smooth sail with getting to 10% body fat and losing fat consistently on a weekly basis. What you wanna do if you're a male, start one full week of eating around 2,200 calories a day. And if you're a female, try consuming around 14 to 1,500 calories a day. Now just track your weight and figure out if that is your maintenance calories, or maybe that's a deficit to start off with by simply seeing what your average weekly weight is. So that is going to be how you're gonna figure out your maintenance or maybe a small deficit or maybe a small surplus. Try at 2200 as a male, try at 1500 calories as a female and just go for that for one to two weeks. Adjust accordingly and you're gonna find out the perfect calorie deficit for you to start with where you're not you know, drastically under eating or you're not overeating to where you think you're losing fat but in reality you're not in a calorie deficit. Wow, I need another sip of coffee after that. <sighs> So now would be the best time to show you all step number two before my eggs completely burn as I'm cooking them. But step number two is going to be a high protein intake. So you wanna make sure you're consuming high protein or at least following a high protein diet while you're focused on getting to 10% body fat for two reasons. Number one, to retain lean muscle mass as you drop body fat. That is so important to not look flimsy by the time you're done dieting. That's why so many people maybe look skinny fat as they lose a lot of weight and get to their goal weight but don't really look how they expect to. And Number two, eating high protein just keeps you really full to stick to that calorie deficit I was talking about earlier in this video. Oh man, yep, these eggs are probably booty, but it's all good, gains. I'm gonna blame y'all for overcooking these, okay? For helping you, so like the damn video. <laughs> Okay, now that I got my meal all prepped up, figured it would be the best time to explain step number three, which is extremely important when it comes to losing fat and getting to 10% body fat. Step number three is going to be high volume meals. Now this is going to trick your brain into overeating, but in reality, you're not really consuming that many calories because you're eating low calorie foods with high volume meals. So that is a huge hack when it comes to dropping body fat, guys. Make sure you're eating low calorie foods and making high volume recipes recipes with these low calorie foods. Like for me, for meal number one today, what I have going on is whole eggs mixed in with egg whites and mushroom and spinach. So obviously vegetables to bulk up my meal, some whole eggs for protein and fats with egg whites to bulk up the meal as well. And then we have this epic chocolate peanut brotes, AKA nutty chocolate with some fruits on top. We have strawberries and blueberries. Berries are amazing because they're high volume fruits that can also bulk up things like oatmeal or for me, brotes. So brotes has 30 grams of protein per serving as well, which is absolutely legendary. I'll keep you all updated on Broads. Coming soon. All right, let's give this a go. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Look at that. Sheesh. Mmm. 
chocolate chip, peanut pieces, amazing. 30 freaking grams of protein in oatmeal, mind blown. Okay guys, I'm gonna enjoy my meal and I'll see you all at the gym for extremely important information you're gonna need with your workouts when it comes to getting to 10% body fat because your workouts have to be very specific and strategic in order to achieve that goal. Sitting down, teaching you all how to get 10% body fat while eating broats. This is brewery at its finest and I love it. <laughs> I'm living for every second of it. Okay guys, so I'm currently at the gym and I wanna to explain to you all the most important thing when it comes to getting to 10% body fat. A lot of people overlook and that, my friends, is weight training. Don't focus on burning calories here, okay? The goal is to retain lean muscle mass. You wanna give your muscles a reason to stay. With that being said, you wanna to stick to the six to 15 rep range with these exercises. got done with a back exercise straight into a shoulder exercise so we're doing a back and shoulders routine here literally just four exercises actually this is two supersets so you can get done with this and literally about like 25 minutes do three sets of 10 to 12 reps per exercise and thank you later <laughs> So just got done with weight training, but we are not done yet, which leads me on to step number five, which is cardio to burn calories. This is a tool to put yourself in a bigger calorie deficit without suffering. If you don't do any cardio, you're gonna be forced to eat a lot less, which does not make dieting any easier. Remember guys, weight training, retaining, and gaining lean muscle mass, and then cardio burning calories. It's that tool that's really gonna help you when dieting and losing body fat to get to 10%. But look, man, if you enjoy these weight training routines, something super simple, effective, and efficient for your own schedule when it comes to weight training cardio i got you just check out my program i'll leave it linked in the description box down below for any of you who want to use this tool So just to wrap this up, I wanna recap the five steps that I shared with you all in this video. Step number one was a calorie deficit. Step number two is high protein intake. Step number three is high volume meals. Step number four is weight training. And step number five is cardio to burn calories. I promise if you follow these five steps in detail with exactly how I explained you all in this video, you will get to 10% body fat and ultimately just look really good and be satisfied and happy and confident with your physique. Believe me, if I can do it as a type one, diabetic for 24 years now, then I promise any one of you can do it as well. But look, if you found this video entertaining, helpful, or informative in any way, make sure you smash the like button right now. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more 10% body fat videos in the future. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can tune into my videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.